There are three things that can help speakers on their path to peak performance. Preparation, practice and feedback. While preparation and practice is up to you, feedback involves other people and therein lies the challenge. Jeff London has been a catalyst for a mega conversation on just this subject, surfacing insights into evaluation and then looking at how best to give feedback. The first question we're going to be looking at is what insights can we find into evaluation? We started by exploring our own experience with evaluation. Which were the evaluations that had really made a difference for us? Touching us, moving us, helping us see something about ourselves that we didn't yet know. We put our best ideas to paper, focusing in on what could really make a difference for others. And then we did what we do best. We presented our ideas. We explained them and we put all the ideas up on the board for you to see. The number one insight, be specific. Give facts and figures that we can actually work with. It's got to be tailor-made to the individual. Recognize the level where they are and where they want to get to. You've got to be really listening, deep listening, going beyond the words that are coming across their mouth. You're a bit of a psychiatrist going into their psyche, not being too harsh, certainly supportive, always positive. You're giving advice, but you're also showing how to put that advice into action. A good evaluator is able to demonstrate what was going not well and could be going better. This makes it memorable. It's personal, it's concrete. Of course, you're being honest. You're creating like a mirror, an image that they can see of themselves before and after. This takes some creativity. You're pushing them out of their comfort zone into a new zone, but all the time helping them feel positive and lifted up. Wow. That's a lot of insights to think about. But based on these insights into evaluation, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for the people you're evaluating? What does it mean for the clubs that you belong to? How can we apply these insights to make the evaluation a more powerful experience? We spoke about these ambitions in small group, then with the wider group. We put them out for all to see, and now we'd like to show you one by one what those ambitions were and what they might be for you. We're going to take evaluation seriously. We're making it a process before, during, after your speech. In fact, we're going to look at your entire evolution as a speaker. How does one speech lead to the next? And in this one, what specifically do you need to do to move it forward to your next speech. We are committed to being creative and positive and challenging you with specific exact words, facts and figures. Even your blind spot may be exposed, but we'll keep it to three points. We are committed to helping you through unique evaluations that can make a positive difference. As a partner, we're here 100% engaged to evaluating your performance. By exploring these insights and how to apply them, we have taken an important step. By moving towards greater solidarity and mutual support, we have seen how we can each improve together. All of this thanks to a great conversation. <laughs>